It's time for Declare Your Independence with Ernest Hancock. Believe me when I say we have a difficult time ahead of us. But if we are to be prepared for it, we must first shed our fear of it. I stand here without fear because I remember. I remember that I am here not because of the path that lies before me, but because of the path that lies behind me. I remember that for 100 years we have fought these machines. And after a century of war, I remember that which matters most. We are still here! Tonight, let us make them remember we are not afraid! Welcome to Declare Your Independence with me, Ernest Hancock, here from Phoenix, Arizona, from the beautiful studios of Freedoms of the Nest, freedomsphoenix.com, which is what we were doing last night, declaring our independence as we watched Dr. Paul wrap up the floor with everybody else. You know, and yay. I mean, how hard is that? <laughs> you know, what we did is we had a, we had a good time. You know, it's always a good time, you know, having good people and friends come by and we'd just be chilling and uh chillaxing as uh pete Iyer would say and uh it was good to see pete Iyer from um liberty on tour you know the, the marv man he uh has been visiting here with allison gibbs that's been staying up in sedona and they both uh he had to take his flight out last night so he was able to spend some hours here getting some nice Philly cheese steaks and pizza and all kinds of yummies that uh donna and the, and the ladies had prepared for everyone so we enjoyed ourselves it was nice food it was a good meal we put it on pause on the dvr we just kind of let it sit there for a while till everybody was ready and had some eating and we got started maybe 15 20 minutes into it so after zipping through all the commercials and so on we kind of got that down to we finished about within five minutes everybody else afterwards we took uh uh, Sierra's computer and they had it all Skyped and set up. She set it up for us. So we just kind of went around Gary Franchi on the reality report. They were doing uh, live post coverage or whatever from various different groups around the country, I would imagine. So of course they came to us and we, you know, kind of scanned it around. Everybody got to have their say. Well, what happened immediately after <clears throat> when we moved our workshop from downtown Phoenix and combine my home and the workshop into the farm up here. We have some horse stalls. Uh, it's a couple of acres here, and we have some horse stalls and a barn and and a big storage uh, area and stuff. So what we did is we took a lot of the all the stencils that we had through the years of all our political activity. I mean, it's probably a couple of feet high of just stencils, you know, thin stuff. I mean, there's a lot of them. So it was just ready to go. I mean, you have no idea how many hours and hours and hours and hour, days, weeks has gone into making all these different various stencils. Fortunately, we did not spend a lot of time on putting, uh, you know, even for president or Ron Paul 08 or any of that stuff. Now, some people added different things they had, but most of it was timeless slogans because we knew this is a long time evolution. So what we did is immediately after the debate, everybody's all fired up, you know, oh man, we need to make, I go, look, man, we got a whole bunch of blank uh, vinyl out there. We have the stencils and we have some that we retrieved or had extra or a lot of, we got a whole bunch. I, I know where it's at. So we go out there, 4409, Shelton's got his camera. Ooh, going to do his video. He's going out there. All right, let's pull some stuff out. We start pulling out all the stuff. We didn't have near as much as we thought we did in the form of, you know, retrieved and saved and ready signs, but we had some, you know, probably, I don't know, a dozen or two and uh, out of, you know, like thousands and thousands that we've done, but we pulled those out, but we still have the stencils. So we pulled those out. And uh, some of them even had 2012. People had done different things in promotion of that. They, heck, they even put up a big giant billboard sign 2012 on someone's barn off the highway in uh, Cottonwood, North Arizona here. Somebody had paid to do that. So we, we've we already had a lot of people doing a lot of stuff here in Arizona. The big billboard on uh, I-5, I don't even know what it is, one between Las Vegas and Los Angeles, They uh, the truck stop out there, they want us to do it again. 
And so we're in negotiations with that, how, you know, volunteers, uh, it's volunteer labor, but it's not free money. I mean, you, at the, just the cost was five, $6,000 for all the stuff that we did last time, four years ago. So, you know, it, it, we'll, we'll see what we can work out. And and hopefully other people will take up the, the challenge, you know, I mean, yeah, we could do it, but it's like, man, do we always got to do it? I mean, there's a, a lot of key people that have a lot of things that happen. And uh, fortunately, we've been able to inspire a lot of others. So hopefully that'll happen and, and continue. And we go on and, and press the edge of the envelope in other ways. So we went out, got all this stuff. People were out putting up signs last night. So this morning you wake up. Yep, there's a freeway overpass. I guess Ron Paul's in the race again. Here we go. Well, uh, before when we started doing this, the first Ron Paul Revolution signs that we did <clears throat> how much time we got in this set? I got to tell it. I got to take care of Sarah. It'll be next segment for Dean comes in. Yeah, my friend Dean is here Friday. He comes in just, uh, he, he works graveyard shifts. So he comes in in the morning so that we can do it. Now, what he's done is he went in and he didn't get to go to the debate last night. So just the last couple hours, he's been in there watching the entire debate, making notes. So he has a fresh, just did it, made some notes perspective on his, uh, what he viewed in this and without all the crowd around, just more, just, you know, himself in there viewing this and he's got a good mind. So it's gonna be interesting to see what he has to say. And I'm giving you uh, my perspective. When we started doing the Ron Paul revolution, keep in mind before Dr. Paul really even said it or acknowledged it or was part, you know, I mean, he knew it was coming. I mean, we said, you know, here we go, but we had nothing to do with the campaign. When we started putting those signs up in February, February, you know, early March of uh, 2007, we had LED lighted lights in the red love. If you look at some of the, the earliest videos from Phoenix, you'll see that it was a glowing red lights in the love. Where that came from was the uh, Aqua Teen Hunger Force or whatever. Remember, there was a big campaign that they did all around like Boston and I think Philly and New York that they had one of the characters, the French fry guy giving you the finger or something, that they had these LEDs and they put them up on bridges and so on. And I guess the inside crowd from Comedy Central or whatever or uh, Adult Swim or whatever the heck it is that they do that. And I didn't even know that thing, that cartoon existed and and now I wish I didn't. But anyways, <laughs> you know, whatever. Some people liked it. They had these LED signs that were put up that had the image of one of the characters in it. They were reported to police, Homeland Security. Oh, my goodness, it's a bomb. And they shut down the highway system in Boston, I think it was at the time. They find Time Warner, you know, which was Ted Turner's company. All that. They're, oh, you're yes, terrorist, terrorist. You're scaring people and so on with this LED sign thing. So that was just a big joke. And the guys, you know, they made it real serious. Oh, yeah, and we're not guilty. We're going. Finally, they decided to drop it and find them a little bit and done. We go, wow, that was a cool idea. You can light them up. You know, you just get little batteries. You tape them to these LEDs, and they last for days, in some cases, weeks. So we took these LEDs, and we put them in the love, connected them to batteries and so on. And when we put the signs up at night, the love glowed. It was illuminated for days. When we did it last time, when we started doing that, nobody paid any attention. Well, I mean, of course, people saw them, but the government, they were like, yeah, whatever. You, you know, Ron, Paul, who the heck's that? They, they didn't pay any attention to it. It'd go days, weeks on the highway. Nobody did anything. Why? Because there wasn't some highway worker, uh, orange vest wearing guy that had a boss saying, you better get your butt out there and get these signs down. So initially... They stayed up for, I don't know, days and weeks. Well, now, what do you think happens? Boom. You have Ron Paul signs up. You know, by the end of the campaign, they were, they were lucky to be up uh, 18 hours. And all we cared is if they, you know, a quarter a piece of costing us to make these big things, paint, you know, and, and cheap or free vinyl or whatever the heck we could find. And we found a lot of new materials to do it with. By putting them up, we make it through one rush hour time, morning traffic, we win. 100,000 people saw it for a quarter. Yeehaw! Well, same thing happened last freaking night. And I'll bet you the same thing has been happening just a little bit going all across the country. What are we going to do back? I don't know. I'm waiting on you now. We'll be right back. <laughs> 